welcome, welcome to Taxing to, to the Max. Max. Hi, I'm the Looney Dr. Frog. And I'm the whacked out Professor Zuni. And we are here today to teach you about the best subject in the whole world, science. Dun, 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 dun. Here are some techniques we will be addressing. Demonstrate wave types and their characteristics through a variety of activities such as modeling with ropes and coils, activating tuning forks, and interpreting data on seismic waves. Problem number one. At zero degrees Celsius, sound travels through air at a speed of 330 meters per second. If a sound wave is produced with a wavelength of 0 0.10 meters, what is the wave's frequency? To solve the problem, you have to first identify what the problem is asking which is what is the wave's frequency. Frequency is the number of waves that pass a certain point in one second. The equation used to solve frequency is velocity of a wave equals frequency times wavelength. Then identify what the problem gives you that you can use. Speed, which is the same as velocity, is equal to 330 meters per second. And wavelength is equal to 0 0.10 meters. Wavelength is the distance from the top points a crest, and the distance between the bottom points, a trough. Now we substitute our known information into the equation. We want to get frequency alone on one side, so we divide 0 0.10 meters to both sides, which gives us 3,300 hertz. The unit of frequency is in hertz. The unit hertz was named after a 19th century German physicist, Heinrich Rudolf Hertz. The answer choice equal to 3,300 is answer choice J. Don't forget that frequency and speed are two different things. If you followed that logic, you would have gotten answer choice H, 330 hertz. Also remember that when you try to move a number from one side of an equation, perform its opposite action. For example, if, if you have plus 10, subtract 10 to move it to the other side of the equation. Hooray, Hooray we, we did, did it. it! Problem number two. What is the sound made by a plucking guitar string? Since you are only younglings, you probably don't know what this is. Muhaha! Let's start off with what you are trying to find. In this particular question, we are looking for at what causes the pitch of a sound made by a plucking guitar string. Next, let's identify the givens within our question. The word that pops out to me is the word pitch. Muhaha! Now, what is a pitch? Pitch is the highness or lowness of a sound characterized by frequency producing it. Now take your definitions and your answer choices and your question and see are there key relating words to them. Looking back, I see the word pitch within the question and choice A. In A, it talks about how frequency is what is causing the sound. So the correct answer is A. Remember, pitch is frequency producing a high or low sound. Now, hooray, we have done it again, young scientist. Now you understand physics, sort of. The end. A wavelength is a distance from a trough to a trough, a crest to a crest, trough to a trough. A wavelength is a distance from a crest to a crest, all through a wave. Frequency is the number of waves that cross a certain point in one second, in one second. Frequency is the number of waves that cross a certain point in one second. Amplitude is the height of a wave, height of a wave, height of a wave. Amplitude is the height of a wave all through a wave.